We're here at the Perkins workshop today and we're gonna show you some metal working tools. So whether you're a professional builder, contractor, or even a DIYer doing a project for yourself, using metal in those projects can be super helpful and a super cool way to make them stand out. We're gonna show you the four different types of metal cutting tools that we use primarily. We're gonna tell you the cost of them, also the advantages and disadvantages of each type. So if you're looking to get something for yourself to be able to do a little bit of metal working, this should be really helpful. To be thorough, we're gonna start with the absolute most basic and cheapest metal cutting tool, and the most common of all time, the hacksaw, AKA knuckle buster, as Arlo likes to call it, because you'll probably bust your knuckles using it. These are about 20 bucks. I would never recommend using one if you have any of the other tools we're gonna show you in this video, but this exists and it is a thing, and it does have a successor, the reciprocating saw with a metal cutting blade, which we do use sometimes, but it didn't make the list either. So let's get into our real list now. We're gonna start with the most affordable and the most portable option. Ooh, the you battery, rhymed it. I know, I thought about that. <laughs> the battery powered grinder. Now you can get them in battery and plug-in style. Actually, the plug-in ones are cheaper. You can get them between say $100 and $200 if you really wanna buy a nice one, plus a couple of thin cutting discs that are about 10 bucks maybe for a pack of five. And those are specifically designed for cutting metal. They are, they cut a very thin kerf, which is good because it preserves battery life. You're not chewing away too much material. This I keep in the back of the truck always. So no matter where I am, I can cut some metal in small quantities if I want to. Now the advantages are that it is portable. It's small, you can get into tight spaces. The disadvantage is it's very noisy. You better have hearing protection all the time. Glasses, lots of sparks flying. If you're in a place where you can't have sparks or you don't wanna catch things on fire, or you're <laughs> on top of a wooden deck that could get wet, those tiny pieces of metal that you just cut that became shavings are going to stain your deck black. Trust me, rust. I've done it. Yeah. You don't wanna do that on a customer's deck. All right, so there you have it. The portable battery powered grinder with a cutoff disc. Moving on up in metal cutting capabilities and in price, unfortunately, is a metal cutting chop saw, which we have a couple of. We have one with a cutoff disc that is similar to the one you put on a small grinder, but it's giant sized. And we also have some that just use a metal cutting blade with special teeth on it. They are lower RPM. We have one of these and we have just a handheld circular saw. And again, two to $400. This blade is shot, but when it's new, this will chop through steel amazingly fast and it works really well. Now there are some big advantages to this type of a metal cutting tool. Number one is that your material does not get super heated like it does when you're cutting with an abrasive disc, uh, like on the grinder or on a chop saw. Number two is it does have a nice clamp so that you can clamp your material tight. You can cut square or you can cut 45, nice straight cuts if you're needing to weld something together. And the third thing is the blade diameter doesn't change as the blade wears like it does on an abrasive type. So you don't get this weird thing where you're down to like a skateboard wheel by the end of the use of the blade. I think this saw deserves special attention because it is such a great style saw. If you're doing repetitive cuts, let's say you need to cut 100 pieces of metal 12 inches long. You just set up a little stop out here and you slide your metal till it hits the stop. Boom, cut, it takes about two seconds per cut. Disadvantages to a saw like this, number one, it's loud. Uh, number two, it's messy. You can see there's metal shavings everywhere. And number three, the blades, the replacements, when you do wear them out are expensive. This is probably over a hundred bucks just to replace the blade, which is probably half the cost of the entire saw when we bought it new with a blade. That's crazy. If you really wanna step up your metal cutting game, you might be interested in one of these horizontal metal cutting bandsaws. And it's hard to tell what this thing even does just by looking at it, cause it looks so crazy. It, it does look crazy. Now this thing has a pivot point in the back and you can raise the head up right here. And it's, it can be a little intimidating because there's a lot of little levers and switches to make this thing work correctly. The price of a saw like this could range between $1,000 and $2,000. This particular one was right in the middle at $1,500 made by Jet. I put a lot of thought into whether or not I needed- and folks, he did. <laughs> whether he I needed a saw like this or not. Days. Okay, so I decided to get this saw because it was one of the largest cutting capacity saws of this price range. They make ones that actually miter in the head tilts and pivots, but they're usually 
smaller for the same money, or you're going to spend $10,000. Mm. Okay. So I didn't want to do that. I decided to go for the biggest saw I could get for my money that did basic cutting. We're talking 90 degrees or 45 degrees. So what's the advantage? Why spend the money? The advantage is this thing is quiet. It will cut large stock. This one is seven by 12. So I can cut an I-beam that's 12 inches tall. Yeah, back up, <laughs> seven inches wide. And I can actually set this thing with the automatic hydraulic down feed to start cutting all by itself and I can walk away and do yeah. something productive while this thing is just chewing away on the end of a piece of metal. So it can save you some time, allow you to multitask. Disadvantages. Disadvantages, I guess the cost. Um, you know, it's a large tool. You have to have somewhere to put it. You do have to have a place for it. Um, I, I can't think of a whole lot of disadvantages. It's not super fast. All right. So compared to the chop saw, this does not cut as fast. I guess that would have to fall in a disadvantage. Got the new exhaust pipe for my truck ready. <laughs> there we go. That's not true. <laughs> I wish it was. I want it to be. And with that, we're onto our final metal cutting tool we have in the shop. The plasma cutter, and Jamie's more of an expert on that, so we're gonna let him go again. Plasma cutter is a great tool, even though it is very expensive. Not only is the tool itself expensive, but you have to have a massive air compressor to power one of these. The compressed air blows away the molten metal. This one's about $2,500. Okay. I'm sure you can spend less. Okay. I'm sure Plus you Plus a compressor, and you may already have one, but you gotta have a giant one. Yes. The and compressor is probably another $2,500. Yes, I was gonna say, that one was pretty expensive. So a grand total of $5,000. <laughs> wow, <laughs> but you do get to wear really cool glasses while you're cutting. Okay. These are green. Uh, oh, they are, that? look at that. Can you see it? Yeah. They well, we, we should do it against the light or something. Okay. So you get to look cool. You're fine. <laughs> okay. What were we talking about? <laughs> what were we talking about? All right, cut. All right. So what does $5,000 get you? What are the advantages? Here's some advantages. You can cut a variety of thicknesses of metal, anywhere from super thin, like that piece right there, to this 5 8 actually this is only half. Uh, my machine will cut up to 5 8 of an inch thick metal, which okay. is really awesome. That's a lot of metal to blast through. Also, you can cut things that you may not be able to clamp into a saw, something you can't really move, but you could bring the plasma cutter to it. Portable. So it, it is somewhat portable. It does take 220 power. Okay. This one does. Disadvantage. Um, or actually it can run on 120. But I want to hear the main advantage. Okay, I'm so sorry. I just, <laughs> the main advantage is that you can cut odd shapes of anywhere you can draw or move, you can cut any shape. You could cut a circle, you could cut a squiggle. It don't matter, this thing yeah, don't care. All the other ones cut pretty much straight. I want to jump in and say you can cut a straight line with this thing. You just have to use a straight edge or something to keep yourself running straight. The main disadvantage, if I could say any, is that it does leave an irregular edge on the piece of metal that has to be ground or sanded or something in order to weld it to another piece of metal and have it look good. That would be the main disadvantage. Let's see some plasma cutting. Okay, here we go. If you're running a plasma cutter and anybody sees you, they're gonna think that guy's the man, basically is where it's at. <laughs> That's a wrap on our metal cutting tools that we have in our shop here, from least expensive to most expensive. So I hope that was helpful and I would encourage you if you don't have anything to cut metal, get something and try it. You can really add to your projects, as we mentioned before. Thanks for building with us. We'll see you next time.